Um, I think we can start streaming because my name is MG the Future and you know what I'm about. You know what I'm about.com. Actually, it's mgthefuture.com. Today we have mini kits for sale that I'm pretty sure you didn't get yet. Scalar Chord Book number three is coming soon. Stay tuned for that. It's MG the Future. You know what I'm about. Today we'll start with a nice selection from earlier this year before 2020 happened. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's really nice. Hey, listen. We have a chat room full of goons. Please, spare me some time as I share my own links with my own following. Uh, I'll be with you guys momentarily. Oh, you can. Oh, Kogan. Or is it whole oh, you can? Or is it the same thing on a different day? I appreciate all of you guys for joining me on this lovely Friday afternoon. Because Fridays are lovely and I'm making beats. In a year full of mids, I'm going pro quick quo. Hey, 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 hey. The Da Vinci Code. because that beat was fire. Let's play one more jam. NPC on the drums, by the way. I didn't have to share a mouse with anybody when I made this. Why is the level so low in this track? You guys can't even hear that. Whatever. One day. One day we'll, we'll figure out our levels. We'll figure out how to put a Ozone on an iTunes player with a limiter. Till then, I'm still sharing this goddamn link. Appreciate you, Antonio McKinney, for sharing the link. I'm pretty sure I have some special icons. I'm pretty sure I should save this and send it to Facebook as well. The more the merrier. My neck. And then it follows up with my back. I can never find my dad on MG the Future page on Facebook. Bro. They do not put it as a shortcut. It should be a main shortcut, but they don't make it a main shortcut. It's really annoying on the browser. On the phone it is. On the browser it's like, hi, you gotta find your own page that you don't use. Yeah, I know. Hey. Okay, so I got all the links shared. Facebook, Twitter, Discord. Um, shout out to Miklo and the Rare Commodity for sharing the links on Twitter. I do appreciate that greatly. It helps greatly. It really does. Um, there's no cap in my rap. My name is MG the Future. You know what I'm about. I'm going bald. I'm going really bald. I'm going bald faster. It's accelerating. What's messed up is that my grandfather on my mama's side, he, he didn't go bald. Um, he had a little bald spot, but my grandfather on my daddy's side, I think he, I think he got the, I think he's bald, bald. I don't know, man. It's a, our hair texture. It's the type of hair we have and it's our environment and chemicals. And maybe I shouldn't smoke as much and things like that, but I want to try to get me some goddamn apricot seed oil and see if prayers and positive intentions grow some hair follicles back. If not, I'm fucked, bro. I might have to go bald at 35, and, and I'm, I'm not a fan of that. It's actually got me in my feelings. Here's the ironic part. Unlike most bald people, I actually look pretty damn good bald, so I've been bald as a kid before. See him? That's my grandfather. He didn't go bald bald. Rest in peace. That's my grandmother. She's not bald either. I know. The dynamics are crazy. They grew up together. Ain't that a bitch? He was the only black family in that town. What was he supposed to do? Anyway, 
Let's check out the chat room goons. John Smith, Antonio McKinney, Ada Sean J, Miles Willis, Antonio again, King Flex, MJ So Wrong. Pedro, what's good, bro? How is it? Pedro, are you in um Arizona? I forgot where you were. I remember you sent a picture of you doing some work. I thought it was Arizona. One of my people, she got up, packed up her car, and moved to Arizona. Like, for no reason. Just left North Carolina. You know the vibes. Will Ty, peace fam. What's good with you? Candace Famer's in the building. Hey. Troy Lab, what's good, man? K Bangas, Keyflow's in the building. Stop playing and make some mids. <laughs> what are you talking about, Keyflow? What's good up, Troy Lav? Subject Beats, what's good, everyone? Beat is sick. I appreciate that. I finally started dusting off my production chops. About time, it's 2020. The year's almost over. The universe is almost over. When that next supermoon, everything go back to normal. So you guys just stay tuned. Just keep your health, your mental health, and your physical health in check. You better start walking and running and shit until uh, this particular set of retrogrades is over. It's almost over. This year had 13, what? We got 13 moons this year and mad retrogrades. Every planet hit a retrograde. So ain't nothing supposed to be normal. But if you look at your night skies this week, there's a comet up there called Something Wise. Why something? They call it a comet. I don't think it's a comet, but there's a, a body in the sky flying around. That's uh, this week. And also four of our planets, I think Jupiter, Saturn, and somebody else will be visible in the night sky. Of course, it's those stars that are uh, colorful. The, the stars that blink a whole lot or have a lot of different colors cycling through them. Those are the planets. Also, there's a big satellite up there that's not a planet. I don't know what he is, but it was very common to see it about a year ago. I don't see it too much anymore. But um, anyway, that's that on today's astrology. Um, I think I got into that bag because uh, my girl watched a Netflix documentary called Mucho Mucho Amor about that Puerto Rican dude that used to do astrology stuff back in the day. I never seen him until I watched that documentary. And it's really bugged out because he was on all the TV shows that I watched growing up. What's good with Sir Biz Makes? Miklo, I ain't too busy for the stream. Lego, King Commit, Zayo. What's good, main productions? First watching on my... Okay, so shout out to David Treasure. He has a new PC and he's watching and participating in the chat room. That female vocal sounds very familiar. Subject beats. That sounds like MG The Future, probably why. Jamari Mack, what's good with you? Mr. Black Mack, what's good with you? Clouds, I see you. Lead a Hitman, what's good? Money Madden, I see you. Lead a Hitman with the Spice 100. Y'all fools ain't tribe and it shows. Yeah, they ain't sharing links. Aisha Cole, what's good with you? Hey, 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 on baby. No rent TV. I went bald at 30, bro. Come on home. Key flow. <laughs> nah, it's not, it's not like, it didn't start from here, though. Like, you know, I always had a recessive hairline, so that never bothered me. Is that when it's in the smack dab at the top of your head, it's like there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing. Like, all my sides are fine. My back is fine. The front is okay and curly. It's dab center. Like, I can feel the skin now, and it's not a good feeling. It's not comforting. It doesn't comfort me. I actually don't like that feeling. I had to start putting fucking cocoa butter on the top of my skull. That's how, that's how unflattering this bullshit is. Me too, MG. I'm much younger, so stay blessed. Subject piece. <laughs> Ernest Taylor. My girl trying to say, sh save my hair right now. Let me know how that works out, Jay on baby. <laughs> Oliver Bassey. <laughs> Mr. Black Max said, I've been bald since 35. What up, though? Noodle says, I went bald at 18. Damn. Well, I've been losing my hairline since 18, but I'm talking about, like, the bald spot. I ain't talking about the sides. I'm not talking about the Snoop Dogg and the Tyra Banks forehead thing. I'm talking about there's no hair. What's good, man? What's good, man? Automatic 8-bit. I see you, Don Lucci. Let's get it. John Smith says, I shaved mine. Didn't even put up a fight. <laughs> well, y'all making me feel better. I'm not alone. I feel like Michael, ja Michael Jackson. You are not alone. I thought I was dying. I'm a hypochondriac like that. Like, when the shit don't happen, I look at that shit. I was like, what is this, an episode of Powder? Like, where's fucking Tom Hanks? This is fucking Tom Hanks' fault, bro. Like, the fuck's going on, bro? <laughs> I hope everyone is having a great Friday. Shane's in the building. Not everyone can pull it off for real. It doesn't suit me, so I won't do it. Pedro and AZ, David Treasure with the prayer emoji. Ikase33, I see you. SBC Nito, what's good with you, homie? James Vita, yo. Loka says you're mad early today, broski. Oh, you missed a few weeks when I was going live 8 o'clock in the morning. Lita Hitman, I need some DHT. 808 Mafia, hi hat top beat, Jay Laurent. Oh, I can do that. Give me a second. I think I have an 808 Mafia drum pattern in my MPC. Goddamn, I might have it. Peace to the guys and queens and kings in the chat. DJ Georgie Porgy Super Mods in the building. 
Happy Friday, Jay Beats and Waves. King Committed, same to you, Shane. Classy Beats, what's good? Deshaun, whoa, it just scrolled all the way down. Deshaun J says, China found out that the chemicals in McDonald's fries can reverse the process. There's hope. Wait, what, Deshaun, are you being serious or are you being facetious? You talking about the cocaine they put in the salt on McDonald's fries can re reverse the process of our hair loss? Fat Joe was talking about him. MJ is so wrong. Fat Joe's talking about who? I'm, I'm out of sync with the chat now. Walter Mercado. Oh, Fat Joe was talking about the Puerto Rican Walter Mercado. Got it. Happy Friday. It's the day of Venus. Yeah, Walter. Yeah, this year this year has been Barsura, Kai Robinson, I see you, DJ Rome, I see you, James Vita, yo. Hussam beats a classy B says it's true, Gemini. I have greater natural manifestation abilities. I tried it for the first time today and the issue was happening within hours. I don't know what my natural abilities are. It's just to tell you guys your natural abilities to use your natural abilities. So that's my natural ability. You can call me Professor Xavier slash Magneto slash Killmonger slash uh, um, that nigga from, um, you know, Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. You know, that nigga, they injected him with the green heroin and he came alive. That's how it is. That green stuff is anger. That's how I am. I'm like that nigga. Yeah, have y'all ever seen Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust? See, before y'all start pretending like black people liked anime this whole time, when y'all niggas used to front on us, when I used to run home and watch Dragon Ball Z, there wasn't too many niggas in the gym shooting gy in the gym with me watching anime. I had a, a, a seventh grade Japanese friend, a, a student had moved here. I guess his parents moved to America to work in RTP. Anyway, his name was Daigaku Kori. Daigaku put me onto all the Dragon Ball Z shit, and I was letting him know about my theories about Super Saiyan 4 and 5. And you remember, he was like years ahead, so he's like, nah. That's that bullshit, bro. But look at me now, Daigaku. Who the fuck has Dragon Ball Super? The guy who told you at seventh grade that it was going to happen. And it fucking happened. So, yeah. Anyway, I've been on this anime wave a long time ago. Um, But the old stuff, not the new stuff. So, what used to happen on LimeWire, Morpheus, Kazaa, BearShare, Nutella. All those peer-to-peer uh, -peer networks. All those uh, hacks and stuff. Like, I used to be on that shit heavy. Especially in my teens. My late teens. Um, getting all kinds of wild shit. I used to get the Adobe's before they came out publicly. I used to get the betas for Windows, N Windows NT server and shit. Like, I used to be a, a really reckless, but the only downside was the computers were trash. My computer was trash. Um, but anyway, speaking of anime, Vampire Hunter D Bloodless, I downloaded that on the Humble. I downloaded another one called Vampire Hunter, which is about some girl on the subway bus. That was a good one, too. Um, of course, Ninja Scroll. Um... And a few others, and it, it, there was a whole bunch. There was a whole bunch of anime movies I watched, and um, yeah, man, shit's dope. If you if you haven't revisited those things, you definitely should. In fact, if you go on my uh, YouTube channel, and search Crack Rap with with uh, X instead of A, you'll see I use the montage of those videos. Stay woke. That's why I've been bald. Do say key flow. What's good with you, loner boy? Beats. Hope all is well with you as well. Leo God season coming up. Yes, J Diggity. Worse for short people, because <laughs> they can see the top of your head. Let's leave Walter Mercado out of this. King Commit says, when you see the top of your head reflecting in the surveillance camera, it's time. That's me right now. God damn it, King Commit. What can we do about it, bro? You're a vegan. You're supposed to tell me that switching to vegan was going to make everything all right. But you know what? Sci-fi is vegan, and he's bald too. So it's not our diets. It's it's probably this hard-ass water we take showers with. Hope I You notice how people who are homeless, they don't lose their hair because they don't take showers. Maybe it is in our fucking water, bro. I hope everyone is dealing with hair loss subject weeks. Kai Roberts said, God is perfect at everything but a fade. Yikes. MG don't want to let go. I don't, bro. The worst is when you rub your hair in the shower and see some hair. That doesn't happen, sadly. MG, so do you have satellites? Someone on the fence leaning towards not. Do they have satellites? Troy Lav. You mean in the sky? Um, as far as I have seen, there was a, uh, a satellite crash in someone's backyard. It was a Samsung satellite, and it was attached to a weather balloon. And they made this big fake story, like, so it was the preliminary story that hit Twitter and social media, and then there was a faker story after that. Um, but the satellites or computers attached to weather balloons, yes, they're definitely real. Um, the things that I see at nighttime that they're calling rockets, like when you look at the Satellite Finder app, you could download it, it's called uh, Something Skies, just look for a satellite tracking app on the App Store. Um, I don't think those are satellites or the weather balloons because they have a light source. That'd be stupid to waste um, your fuel economy or your battery life on projecting this bright light. And I'm saying like really bright lights that I see moving in the sky. They almost look like stars are moving. 
So imagine, why would you create something that does that? And they'll tell you a lie like, you know, it's the reflector panels. Bullshit, bro. There's not no fucking reflector panel that does that. So those are craft. Those are like flying craft. Whether we have flying craft or not, I'm sure we've experimented and have some. Um, but I've seen the other flying craft that I know we don't have because they respond to thoughts. Um, and there's and there's spirits up there, too, like dragons and stuff. Like uh, I call it a soul train. I've seen a chemtrail cloud move through the sky. With uh, sparkles and glitter all around it, like uh, uh, the only it's like Starcraft. Hold on, real quick, Troy Lab, you and got me sidetracked. We supposed to show these people how to use an NPC with FL Studio. Hold on, real quick, Starcraft Brood War Four versus Four. I think it's the only time you see that color. I'm just gonna see if I can find this color real quick. It's this particular color that you I associate with aliens and whoever these artists are. Must have seen the fun, same fucking aliens I've been seeing because they use it in their alien games. Or is it the other way around? Nope. At some point, right before StarCraft 2 came out, there is a skin color that you get that was really sparkly for like any of the races, right? Because everyone gets a random color. And I forgot what that's called. It, but anyway, the sparkles around it is exactly like that, but it was moving in the sky. Um, I've seen rope flying through the sky, which is in a spiritual uh, uh, night vision kind of color, like a brown sepia type color. It was like a ring of ropes, and it flew over my house. I've seen an owl that didn't flap its wings in the same spiritual color fly the other way. I've seen all kinds of shit in our sky. Um, so I don't know, bro. I don't... Is it satellites, the satellites that they show us just photoshops of? No, those aren't real. But do they have things in the sky? Yes. And so do, and so does a whole bunch of other beings. Nah, Top Gun at 18, Noodles. Damn, Noodles. Advanced Instinct, what's good? My hairline looked like the Count Dracula, so I had to let it go. Maverick, <laughs> I had dreads for eight years and had to let them go around 26. Damn. What's good, Don Trail? I see you, bro. Money Madden's in the building. Pull up, just came from Nature Walk with the Kids. Alan Stevenson, that's what's good, bro. Lead the Hitman says, MG the Future at Keyflow. Guys, can we get a procedure called Fue, Taiga, and... Hold on, you got to finish that sentence, Lead a hit, man. Lush sounds in the building. Rob Cypher said, I gave up and went bald on purpose. Damn. Peace, family. Peace, Ellis. Nigga, I'm about to go at me a large fire right now. <laughs> I know <Rit> TV. <laughs> MG, what's up? Is it me or is it Drake not how it is used to be? Augustin, Robert, Rogers, Brutus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake's music is definitely not slapping like it used to slap. Um, The magic has indeed worn off. Um, he keeps relying on Oz for beats, and Oz isn't that nice. No, no offense to Oz. Oz doesn't make what T minus and Boy Wonder makes. So I don't know why uh, Drake is favoring him over the, the the aforementioned. But um, yeah, Drake is just in a different space right now. The music industry is in a different space. Our our planet, the vibes we're on is different, and and that's what I started thinking about. You know how they say when you get older, all the new music sounds like old head stuff, or sounds like you know out of sync with it. I don't think that's true. I don't think it's because you're older. I think it's because the frequency changed. So, so maybe, maybe they're saying the same thing, but it doesn't capture it. It's not that way because you're old. It's that way because the frequency changed. And the frequency they're creating these records at and the frequency that we experience when we walk outside isn't the same. It isn't the same as it was seven years ago. Um, and you could tell. I could tell when I wake up. Um... But with that being said, the mixes on those new records were terrible. And I checked the credits on title. It said Noah 40. Couldn't tell. Um, they did that little voice trick. A lot of people are comparing it to I Love McConan and uh, Weekend. But it's really 24 hours. Um, I have a, I had a guest on a 3 a.m. chat or a legendary chat. It was Barry. B Streets. B Streets put me onto that vocal technique via 24 hours. Because, you know, they're from Japan or they were stationed in Japan. So... Uh, they were doing that in Japan, I think inspired by those little anime singers and, you know, the Vocaloid type thing. So they were rapping like that for like seven years. I'm thinking that finally popped up on Drake's radar and he gave it a shot. And um, the production was just bad for that stunt. Lush Sounds, how you are, somebody already hit you with an unlike. Haters, I tell you, Lush Sounds. I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of... There's, there's a lot of soy in people's water, too, bro. So I don't take it personally no more. I don't even care. The, the YouTube check's still the same. No, they're actually, no, the YouTube checks are not the same. They're higher. So shout out to those guys. Worse is when they have a full head of hair, but keep it shaved. Slate shaved. 
Yeah, man, those people are disrespectful. My girl said, my power is I get whatever I want just by touch. Woo, pause. Keyflow, F-U-E makes the follicles from the back of your head and put it in the bald spots. Plus, it looks natural. Oh, no, I'm not getting, I'm not going to get no surgery. I'm just going to try the seeds and the oil and meditations. Let's talk about it. Ninja Scrolls and shit. There we go. There we go. DBZ since 1995. Vamp Hunter D. Yes. I got put on my, my dogs in the hood. They only watch DBZ. I went further. There we go. I've been on anime. That's all I've been doing for the past weeks. Hey, I'm getting procedure done next year. Olita Hitman's going to get the procedure done. We'll see. Me and the weird white kid who wore sweats and Velcro shoes in high school were the only anime watchers growing up. Peace to Sakim Mahata. Shane says your mouth is moving so fast. Pause. Whoa, what's that about? If my mouth is moving so fast, is it? Are you talking about I'm talking fast or is it the, uh, the video itself moving fast? Speaking of talking so fast, moving so fast, I did have that thought, Shane. That's interesting that you pointed that out. I was studying something about Native American tribes and I was reading their words in the Salish book and their names and their words, you can't say slow because there's too many consonants and letters, right? So it can't be like, ah, la, sha, ka, ta, ka, la. It has to be, ah, ka, la, ka, ta. It has to be really fast like that. So I was thinking about when I grew up up north, I used to talk way faster and everyone around you talk way faster. Same thing with rap music, right? It's at a 88 to 96 beats per minute because people deliveries are way faster. Even Jay-Z. You know, that's not how people talk, but he could go from talking really fast to rapping faster. Whereas when we slowed the tempos down, hey, yo, fuck on your bitch, huh? Fuck it up, bitch. Hey, make it a switch, huh? Fuck on your bitch. Like, it's really slow. I call it bumpkinism. When I moved down here, I started becoming a bumpkin. So maybe I'm subconsciously trying to talk fast again. What's good, Donye? Antonio McKinney, Cowboy Bebop. You already know the vibes. God, no. What's good with you, Donye? Antonio, I was heavy in Afro Samurai Ninja Scrolls. Those two. Afro Samurais were good, too. Cowboy Bebop was fire. Gantz. MHU live in the middle of nowhere. Sounds about right. It was cracking the early 90s with the anime. Nick Mirror versus Cash Money AP. Beats by John Black. Salute to you, John Black. There's, is, there, is there a tiffle? Is there a scuffle between Nick Mirror and Cash Money AP? I am not aware of it. Um, at all. I don't think I can see Nick Mirror tweets. And I don't see too many people talk about Cash Money AP as usual. As they would have maybe two years ago. Um, but I did see what Av was doing because he made the meme with me and CMP from Spicy Sundays. And um, I saw a lot of kids respond to that. I saw Lo-Fi Matt, although he's muted on my timeline, I saw him respond. Um, I think Electo was going back and forth with Av, which is Electo was associated with Jer Money. And then he got associated with Cash Money AP. And I think something about someone remade someone's melody because they're watching too many MG The Future videos and trying to duplicate it in real life and it didn't work out well and they're fucking up their producer karma if there is such a thing and now everyone's shooting at each other um, I'm assuming over these allegations of loops, fraud and um, not getting proper credit and more importantly, probably the most important thing since all the arguments against Av is like we're winning is that these people aren't winning because they're not getting paid um, and I was really disappointed with some of the OGs I've seen on there. I've seen Johnny Giuliano change his tempo. I was following him on Twitter for a little while. And he started speaking about things, about positivity. And then for some reason, my spirit said, click on his profile, click on his profile. And he wasn't following me no more. So I had to unfollow Johnny Giuliano. And then that made me think Words Connect, Superstar O, um, Vibes, Vibes are still following me. And then Cardo, I don't think I ever f followed Cardo, but I saw Cardo reply to... Uh, Av and Cardo just said something crazy. Like, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand what's happening to these people who who so so called were blessed and winning in the old industry. It's almost as if they do not see that they're at the end of the road. And I think what they're trying to do. What, this is how it comes across to me. These opportunities aren't being handed out because those labels, those budgets, those situations aren't being done. We told you on Spicy Sundays, maybe three, four, five months ago, that the music industry canceled its shows until the next year or two. As a result of that, art, artists like main pop white artists, um, your girl, uh, baby, I'm sorry, 
I'm not sorry. What's that girl's name? I want to say Ariana Grande, but the other one. The other girl, the, little, the Hispanic chick from Disney. Anyway, those artists were coming forward saying that their budgets for their new albums that are supposed to come out by summer were already cut back in March and April. So if that's the top of the ladder in terms of budgets, you can imagine what the budgets look like towards the bottom when we get to quote unquote nigga music. And I'm saying that in a very negative way because that's how they treat it in a very negative way. Um, and then you see with the lawsuits between Migos and QC, right? You know, you watch your Instagram stories, everyone's balling, everyone's living their life. But if you look at what's alleged in these different lawsuits, it couldn't have been that good. And if it wasn't that good for the artists that we all flock to for the sound for the past three to five years, then it cannot be better for the producers. So everyone's um, out capped each other to a situation and it answers the proverbial question. Why is there so many producers on one beat? And it's because it's not enough money. It's not enough money to want to do it by yourself. It's all chance. And because it's all chance, you just pick all this stuff together and you're in hip hop, EJ, MTV generation, uh, generator, uh, Sony acid all day, just putting clips together and sending them off. Because you're not getting paid the big dollars that we would have or should have or used to. So your incentive to be like, yo, if I do this right and it's awesome and it's dope, not only do I get my producer fee, I get part of my advance and I get my production deal and then I get royalties. People forget like producers don't just get paid for the beat. You're supposed to get a fee if they're bringing you on like a person with a name who's winning. Like if they say, hey, I want beats from this person, they get paid a fee. Then you get paid for the beat itself like an advance and then you get a production deal for your publishing so you can skip past ASCAP and BMI and go straight to CSAC and some of the more exclusive companies. And that's more allotted to people with hit songs. And that's how I know when these producers are talking on Twitter that they're full of shit in terms of finances, because if your finances were what you're pretending them to be, you would not be with ASCAP and BMI, at least not exclusively. You, you would, might have ASCAP and BMI as a default, but you'd have a, a bigger register with big songs and hit songs if they're collecting money on it. So people have been capping, out capping and capping out, and they've been full of shit this whole time. And we've slowly but surely kind of exposed that in hopes that people stop falling for the the jug but we're at a point with the environment with life where the jug is so loud now that there's no one else to blame maybe they're just shooting at each other and we also called that on spicy sundays as well because certain things are just inevitable that's why i always say tell the truth shame the devil anyway ba -ba 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 -ba. beats by john have you tried auto studio one five yet no sir Bray, i have the call of my manager candace famber Sci-Fi Doofy, Antonio, leave Sci-Fi alone. Troy Lav, my bad, MG. Yeah, I see Solid Light moving out direction of the stars. What's good with you, Master Hurricane? I am HH Temple. What's good, bro? Do the ketogenic diet and fasting is very good because the body don't do sugar no more. Augustus, Roger Bruce, I might. I might actually do keto. I know my hairline time is coming soon. Classy Beats, what's good? David Treasure, my dad passed 80 with all his hair, and I'm 50 past with it. Well, David Treasure, just rub it in. I mean, you going to give us some advice? Good for your guys. Good for your genetics. You gonna give us some advice? 40 hasn't been mixing for Drake because his MS disease is getting worse. Ish. I wish someone would tell uh, 40 to fast. Someone should really tell 40 to fast and try to fast, um, especially if it's that kind of thing. I think he could beat it by fasting. I don't think everyone beat it by fasting, but I've heard cases where people who had MS fasted, water fasted, and, it went, and the symptoms went away. I don't know what the root cause is, but the symptoms go away. Um, I think the channel, uh, a healthy alternative or, or some related video was showing that. And 40 would have to fast for more than 15 days. So it's a hard fast. It's not the easy, you know, one meal a day fast. He would have to do nothing. You know, not <laughs> shit. I tell someone like that to do a dry fast shit, but um, a water fast definitely for more than 15 days, and the reason why is that when you really go down the fasting rabbit hole, your body doesn't kick into stem cell regeneration, and it doesn't start extending telomeres. Well, you can extend telomeres with your imagination, just by seeing yourself better. That causes the telomeres to react. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about that. Telomeres determines how long you can live, because the length of a telomere gives you basically a whisk or a candle, you know, a candle wisp, for how long DNA can replicate. So if your telomeres are short, you're gonna die early or die too short. But if you extend the telomeres, whether that be health, and in, in my example, meditations, 
and affirmations, you live longer. And then, you know, you have more time to correct errors in DNA. Another thing that I came across with DNA, I think someone showed a clip of a Deepak Chopra book, which was quoting a scientific thing, you know, the whole split electron experiment, is that no one can prove anything with your DNA. It was really weird. They were saying is that for no reason at all, even if you're sick, a signal can be sent to your DNA and the DNA can flip the switch and go back to fixing and repairing itself as if it was healthy the whole time, which kind of is responsible for the instant manifestation of cures that some people report. That is uh, is something that Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about too, which is called uh, uh, mind and heart coherence, but there's a word for it. Uh, uh, the, the epigenetics, what is that shit called? Uh, yeah, 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 epigenetics. Epigenetics is what it's called. Like the whole theory that you just have these inherited genetics from your parents and environment and there's nothing you can do about it is complete bullshit. You actually have seven generations worth of genetics. And of course they shuffle and go through randomly, but your body can pick and choose the ideal ones and ideal circumstances. When I say that you have seven generations of genetics from seven generations back, yeah, I remember two parents, four grandparents, eight great grandparents, 16 great great grandparents, 32, 64. So you have all of those in that tree in you um, that you can use and call upon. It's very similar to like why we get those numbers. I need to find out exactly what that number is. But when you get into the Goetia and stuff and they talk about how many demons that are uh, protecting the pineal gland and how many legions that those demons have. And when you convert that, those, uh, those uh, what is that called? A a anamorphic or whatever the fuck it is, representations of science. Because they did that to keep dumb people away from it. Like, if you're too immature for this, then you'll stay away from it. But if we converted it back to science, you'll understand what they're talking about. You have that many generations of cells and DNA and powers from your, from your inheritance, from your parents, 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 parents. And you have access to those things. That's why they say the ancestors live in you. It's a literal thing, and it's a figurative thing. I say all of that to say, I'm sorry, I'm long-winded today, um, that... Nothing is final. And as we get more mature and as we um, work together and share ideas together and get closer to truths, um, we'll start to see that a lot of these things that pained us in previous generations were just from lack of knowledge or lack of know-how. And the biggest thing that people need is positivity and confidence. And if you can get that, you can almost fix anything. So at least that's where my quote unquote belief lays. Um, and I believe as more people believe that and operate from that, I think our society in general will get better. I don't think it's McDonald's. I don't think it's your soda. I don't think it's because you don't eat enough green stuff. I think it's the way we think, the way we treat each other out of our thoughts and the competitions that we have with each other and the race that we have to the grave because we've lost track in the sight of what's really important. And what's really important in this particular experience is the experiences that we create with each other, is the things that we build with each other. It's the exploring this world with each other and building cool things and doing cool things and having wild ass laughs and creating dope ass memories to take with us to the next side. It was never about being better than someone. It was never about stunting on niggas. It was never about you know, getting all these material things that fade away sometimes faster than you do. So once we can recalibrate our intentions, and I think maybe this is what this whole thing is about, right? The choice, that, that fork in the road, where some clandestine group may want to send it one way, and then you can flip it too. You can say that that same clandestine group is giving everyone a choice to go the other way. So there's levels to this shit. Tears. Holler back if you're hollering. I made it here. Come to stream again. What's good, Xavier? Shane, talking fast. Mendoza, Koza, I see you. Ellis, I see you. Boom, boom, boom. Selena Gomez. Not Selena Gomez. Demi Lovato. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. What a time to be alive. Cedric Avenue, I see you. OBN's in the building. George Desire. Joseph Anderson. Wyatt Clark. Bum, 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 bum. Take care of yourself, Xavier. MH Beats. Maybe I can get a hundred dollar feature from all my favorites in a couple of months. Hey MG, hope you're good. George Desire, I'm good, bro. I'm really good. So let's talk about this FL Studio stuff. I think I'm lit, right? I think I addressed everything, right? Music is lost. 
What dog do you have most fun in, MG? I don't have fun. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, cool. We lit. I'm caught up to the chat. Rudy Rhythms, life is nothing but memories and moments. Make the most of the moments and keep the memories. There you go. After death, what do you think happens? Music is lost. I don't think you realize when you die. I think you just keep going, bro. I think it's just like when you fall asleep, you don't realize you're asleep. Um, and as long as that's true, I don't think you have to worry too much about death. Real question is, what do you think happens when you live? Let's talk about it. Let's just think about it. Let's put, put that in the background of your mind. What do you think happens when you begin to live? Greg Johnson, what's good? Low Speed, who saw that United Masters Select music distribution? Um, Low Speed, a brother, uh, a brother that emails me a bunch of articles sent it to me, but I didn't get a chance to watch it. We'll talk about that maybe on Spicy Sundays. I'll see if I can gather all of those uh, topics. The, whoa, how do I resize this? Pause, that's what she said. <laughs> Yo, resize my window. All right, so uh, so so here's the thesis about FL Studio and NBC. I'm not going to answer y'all questions no more. Y'all got to relax. No, I, I'll answer more questions, but let me get this out the way because it's not going to take very long. Um, essentially, the whole thesis was I got an NPC Live to do drums, right? Nothing more, nothing less. I was hoping, um, although the NPC Live never promised it, that its DAW integration would be better with time and with coders, especially since... They inherited the team from Pro Tools, which goes by Air, Team Air. Um, they did not do that. They just made a cooler groove box. They advertise and do what Native Instruments pretend that it advertised and did. Um, Native Instruments said it was going to be a DAW and then backtracked. I think because of the NPC. The NPC said we'll never be a really good DAW, but we'll give you the old school three-tier NPC workflow. I hate that workflow. It's only good if you're making boom bap like DJ Premier, no, no offense to them, but almost all of DJ Premier's beats are two bars long and, and they're fire. Don't, don't get it fucked up. Um, but that really relies on your ear and how you could pick a, a sample good enough to hold it for two bars. Also, uh, there's other producers like the new stuff that Alchemist is doing, where it's just a sample and you're editing or resequencing the sample. Perfect. NBC will do that perfectly. But if you spent the past 20 years Going into the piano roll, adjusting things, moving things around, doing arrangements, doing turnarounds, automation, the works. It'll stress you out a little bit to switch to a MPC if you've never used the MPC. So I was stressed out. I thought I was just going to be able to turn the bitch on, connect it via USB, and some kind of thing happens and everything talks to each other. Very similar to what machine does. Machine does that, right? You plug in your machine controller, you open up the machine software, and you're out of here. The MPC software in GUI kind of does it. It's cool, but it's like, I don't want to use that. It, it, it's hard to explain. I thought that because this was a sound card. No, actually, it's not a sound card. That's what's throwing me off. The MK3 is a sound card. The MK3 by machine is a sound card. You don't need nothing but it. The MPC has a sound card on it, so you can record your turntable, record line inputs, and has multiple outputs to go to mixers and other devices However, when you're using it on your computer, nothing talks. It's just, uh, it's just Ableton Push or Novation. And I was like, that was the dumbest design thing I've ever seen. Point being, be it as it may, I needed to find a way to have my NPC talk to my computer through the audio, through the actual sound card. So I had to buy a bigger sound card to clear it. And then I needed a way to track that. And for the past year and a half, I could not track it. I could track it, but nothing was in time. Meaning um, if I separated tracks separately, what will happen is this jitter will occur where if I have the hi-hats by itself, not only does it put space in the beginning of the hi-hats, later on the hi-hats will triple up and double up because it's chasing the sequencer. The sequencers aren't together. Um, that's infamous with the ASR-10. Um, also, even if I did do that and I just knew in my head that I'm going to slice off all these beginnings of everything, I couldn't because when I did the kick, the kick will go off, but it'll go off differently. And that pissed me off. I've only tracked out maybe five projects successfully in the past two years. So they dropped a few things. They dropped a new Wi-Fi adapter uh, driver. I thought that was going to save me. It didn't. They have Ableton Link, 
working on NPC, my link clicks in whenever the fuck it feels like it. Doesn't it doesn't work reliably, or there's a setting that's wrong, and their user help guides are stupid. Because this is what they did. This is what Akai did that I don't appreciate. When they were chasing the Akai force, they were competing with Ableton um, to replace Push. Like, because you know, Akai made Push one, Ableton made Push two, and Akai wasted the last two years trying to stick it to Germany and saying we could make a better push than you can. So what actually they did in 2.7 and 2.8 is that they made your NPC a controller for Ableton. And I was like, wow, that's fucking cool. If I love the way Ableton drum sounded, why the fuck would I spend $1,200 to control Ableton clips, bro? That, and I think that's where the disconnect is. I thought all these linking things were so that the NPC could be the slave and uh, the dog could control when the NPC played and did things. No, it's the other way around. It, it turns it into a push. And I, I, no one really explained that to me. Because people were pretending like they were using it like me, and they weren't. They are were using this to control drum rack. Are you fucking nuts? Are you fucking retarded, bro? We have all these outputs, and you're controlling drum rack with a $1,200 machine? Nigga, buy an MPD. Buy an MPC Studio. Why the fuck did you buy this? But no one talks to these people. No one talks to these developers. I see, apparently. So... With all that being said, and all the tears that I shed, I finally figured out a way to do it. And it's called MIDI Clock. And it was always there, I just could never get it to work. I finally got it to work using one MIDI cable. I have one MIDI cable leaving my claret, going into my MPC. I have the settings correctly in the settings of sync on uh, the MPC Live set to MIDI Clock. Everything's MIDI Clock. And then I have FL Studio, Ableton Live, and anything that accepts MIDI clock, set the MIDI clock. Now when I press play on this guy, or with my, or up here, we get instant playing from the MPC. Um, and I'll show you that that's indeed my MPC playing. So if I hit the space bar, the NPC plays. You see what I'm saying? That's all I ever wanted in my whole entire life. And it just didn't work. Now, the secondary problem is even if you get that to work with all the different mechanisms that you can get that to work, the biggest problem that you're going to have is this. We're going to put an instance of Edison on this. And in most DAWs, if not all of them, what you have to do in your head is go, I'm going to record it um, to an Ableton clip. I'm going to record it to Studio One Linear Lane. I'm going to record the audio when I hit play. I, I hate that these two transport ports are uh, synced together. That's stupid. Fix that image line. You see how I sped up real quick? One more take. Cool. So this is directly from the NPC. In all takes with MIDI clock, the NPC in Fruity Loops or the NPC in your computer need a minute to talk to each other. So almost always your first take is going to be off. No matter what, even in my corrected setup, it's off. But the real problem is even if you consciously know that and you say, all right, let's go to the second take and loop it. The problem you're going to have is cool. That's cool for a drum break because you could go from kick to kick or bar one to bar two evenly. But what happens if it was a rim shot and there's no downbeat? How do you perfectly loop the rim shot? How do you perfectly align the rim shot? The shit is a pain in a dick. It doesn't fucking work. You spend, you spend more time trying to guess that not only do you piss yourself off and not want to track out stuff, but you end up like CMP and you're dragging dropping from the VST, which is nasty to me, bro. We got preamps and Zulus. No one needs to be dragging and dropping from no damn NPC. And that doesn't just go for CMP. That goes for all of you NPC users. Cut it, cut the bullshit out. Anyway, um, so yeah, fuck that, bro. And this is what everyone does. They're like, oh, it's not that bad. Just put a, just put a metronome on, and you know, fucking uh, you know, create, cr put the NPC in song mode, and have a click on an empty pattern, and then play the pattern that you're tracking out. Shout out to my brother. Uh, oh man, why am I forgetting people's screen names? 
that's my brother. Who my brother told me that he's an NPC one thousand dude. Uh, but the brother Freak Show. Freak Show put me onto that, and I was like, that's not a bad idea, but that's an extra step I don't want to take. And then the song mode and waiting and nah, and the, and the clock still has to sync up, nah, bro, because it's the first bar that's out of time. So even if we put a uh, a dummy pattern, we would have to put two or three dummy patterns for it to catch time, and then pray that the next two four bars are fine. And Lord forbid you're tracking out a whole NPC sequence when you did go on the road and you made a whole 32 bar track and you want to fucking track out the whole thing. And it's like, nah, fam, we're going to jigger. We're going to jitter, you know, eight bars in. So shit's trash. Um, But you get it. And if you hear it, what's beautiful, though, is this is going through the Zulu, going through my preamp. It sounds amazing. Yeah, you say you need two empty bars of space in the beginning. Lead the hitman. Boom. But in the way that I have it, you don't. You do, but you don't. Fruity Loops ironically became the best candidate for this. And I can't wait for all the fake NPC users to suddenly teach this video in a five minute course because I know they're going to do it. So that's why I'm not going to show them how to set this up. If you need help setting this up for real, let me know. I think the brother Dirt one might actually do it like this, too. But anyway, so check this out. First thing we got to overcome is the delay. Because not only is it a jitter, there's this thing in the beginning where no matter what you drag and drop, there's going to be a gap um, before every hit. I don't know what that is. I think it's just the, the hardware, uh, you know, your audio driver, your buffer size. So you need to figure out a way to calculate that. So on my MPC, I'm going to mute the playback. So you're not getting no sound from here. But what I'm going to do is turn the metronome on. So now I have a metronome. And what we have to do is turn on Fruity Loops metronome. And you can hear that they're off. That difference between the two is what's causing the gap between everything. So Fruity Loops on its mixer channel has a, a set in milliseconds delay buffer. So we could try 10. And you want these to align. You don't want them to sound like a gallop. So I'll show you. If I set this to like 100, it's still off, right? If I set this to 400, it's off, off. So you want to find your sweet spot. Which you can do, like in Logic, you can ping your MPC through Logic and get a number. You can use Pipeline and Studio One and get a number. But... For some reason, those numbers don't work for me. In FL Studio, it was closer to 37 for me. When, when the, the, the clock isn't restarted. It's almost the same. So it's give or take 10 milliseconds. Yeah, it's, it's in there somewhere. It's between 30 and 50. Whatever, right? So you struggle with that to, to mitigate that buffer space. It's as good as I'm going to get it in this program. But once that's done, whoa, fuck up out of here. Once that is done and you think you got it, we can go ahead and turn the metronome off on the MP, of course. I can go back to uh, my track. I'm going to turn this metronome off, too. So it's almost instant when I hit the space bar. Everything's cool so far. But what's cooler is that FL's Edison has this thing called record on playback. And this is something that, uh, you know how like when you hit the little record arm in the Ableton clip view, and it's like one, two, three, four, and then it goes and it picks up your sequence. Well, what's, what's problematic in other programs that do that, even if you do account in with hardware linked, you still have to chop it manually. In FL's Edison, it chops it for you, which makes finding that post two bar take even easier. Peep game. It'll make more sense once you see it. See, there's still a gap. Sequence over. It automatically isolates the next perfect sequence. You see how it's starting to delay a little bit? So 
you got to catch the take that's not off track. And just using that mode, boom. You got it. So that's the second take on almost all of them. Give me that. We got to turn off our uh, inputs. So on and so forth. So it just helps you isolate it. So now, when I go to the high track, mute it. I take the second take of hi hats. When I go to the snare track, mute it. Take the second take of snares, etc., etc. So once you do all of that painstakingly, and you get your delay right, because that delay, it might be my tempo is off too. What you have to do on an NPC because they're not talking to each other, only have one MIDI cable. Make sure you manually set the tempo of your sequence in NPC to the project in FL Studio. So they both are 86. But then we just get what we need from this. Every drum every drum is going through my hardware chain, so every stem is preamped and zulued out, so it keeps that it keeps that boom, 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 boom. You feel me? It's love. Would a word clock fix it? I don't know. Does NPC use a word clock? You said it sounds like the underwater t uh, bikini bottom joint. It does, don't it? It sounds like surfer music. It sure does. That bass line, though. And all you need is your, your drums, bro. And then we can use our little hacks to find out what the key is, play our bass lines, and never make a whack East Coast beat ever again. Yeah, the hardware chain does cause it. So that's what I did, you know, and now and it's so cool because we could just fucking make music, bro. Like this shit's awesome. This shit is awesome. When it works, when it works. That was the first time I got it to work effortlessly. Um, this new drift, I'm going to have to figure out what my latency is. I'm going to try a trap example. I think that's what I wanted to do in this video. But real quick, basically the reason why I don't two track the whole NPC beat is because no one fucking two tracks a whole NPC beat. You know what I'm saying? Like in, in real life, like realistically... You'd have uh, you'd have intros and shit, bro. You'd be like, picking up what I'm putting down like you need to be able to do that like you can use the song mode in the NPC to do that if you if you want to but that shit is a dummy mission bro especially when you already come from this era you feel the vibes bro you said Laguna vibes Son, son, son. 
You see all that hesitation? It might be OBS slowing me down in this example, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to show y'all that it's doable. Um, the behavior is trash right now, though. I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. So I need to find out the key of this sample. So like I said, like if NPC had a key finder built into it in a decent time stretch, I wouldn't be so gun ho about getting my beats out of it. But it doesn't. Like it slows you down. It makes you make really simple beats. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'd rather motherfucking go through the top. I'd rather just finish the track instead of um, pretending like it's good because it has a groove on it. <laughs> Nigga, what key was that? That was almost E flat minor. Is my sample almost in E flat minor? It's in B flat minor. E flat to B flat is a big jump. One, two, three, four, five. Let's bring it down to the one, two, three, to 500 cents. Actually, I think it's the same key. I think my ear just was that good that I knew that when I picked it. What the fuck? That's, that's not what we're gonna use anyway. Fuck it. All these melodic bits, is, we don't do that for this. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are them shits called? Just sound effects. Like those kind of things. Yeah, we need these, bro. We need that Griselda down roads uh theremin delay pedal guitar mess y'all know what i'm talking about everything's e minor today goddamn e flat minor so i don't even have to i just keep picking the key that it's in that means my ears are working that's crazy bro my ears never work but anyway let's go let's go to plate Let's put some delay on it. Let's put some stereo spread on it. Pause. That's what she said. Low pass roll out. You feel me? Easy monies. I need crystallizer. I still don't got it. other effects and shit in there too like not for nothing like wait a minute. why is this shit um the colors mess my eyes up like it went it was even now it's not even kind of thing so it's two bars here oh because my intro is too short my intro is too short for the timeline There we go. There we go. That looks so much better. So this is the verse. Four of those on the verse. And we're going we're gonna to pour out alcohol for the homies before the verse is over. And then you can do that thing that Alchemist and them used to do. You know that. You know what I'm talking about. Hold on. I just got to show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. We got to cut it evenly. No, bitch. Hold on. Yeah. It's the track mutes that they would do in their mixer back in the day. But we have cooler toys, so we should do it by hand. You know what I'm talking about when they used to do this? You know what I'm talking about. Fade stereo on that. And we need an effects that it lands on. I guess that'll be our marker for hooks. Bro.
Come on, dog. Come on, man. Come on, dog. Yeah, hook markers. Hook marker. Da, 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 da. Hook marker. Yeah. Um, and you get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could do this in an NPC in a way, but if I needed to time stretch this or pitch it or make any quick advanced changes, the, the machine will slow you down. So much so that because it slows you down, you don't do it. That's my problem. If it slows me down, I don't do it. Of course it is, Jared. I made it. Yeah, that's Jared. Yeah, his name's Jared with a D though. It's funny because I just saw him, right? I, I always told you I haven't seen Jared in forever. That's Jared. That's Jared today. The little kid saying this beats fire is a grown ass man. <laughs> you would change the kick drum? You would. You kick drum Nazi. I would do all that, but I did all the side chaining, so. But you know what? You can change the kick drum. I'm glad you said that. Because if you don't like that kick drum, now that it's an audio format, we can repitch it. These are some decap kicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Decapitator beefy preset. I don't have decapitator. I have no sound toys except for the free ones. This shit's over. You feel me? That that's just cool. It's cool that I can almost track out beats in FL Studio. And when I hit play, it plays. That's really what the big the deal was. I made a hip hop beat this, this summer while everyone is still just chopping samples and not adding bass lines. <sighs> Hate to see it. But um, yeah, man, fucking A, bro. You said get sound toys, MG. Nah. Forget y'all. I was in the Discord telling y'all in Plugin Zone. I said, yo, Sound Toys is on sale in Plugin Boutique. And what did someone tell me? It could have been you too, Dirt One. One of y'all said, no, what you would want to do is wait for the real sale to happen so you could get it even cheaper. And that's what I did. Now you're telling me to get it. I need you to make up your mind, sir. Now the Plugin Boutique sale ain't there no more. Now I really got to wait till Black Friday or whatever it is. I don't have a choice now. You don't have a choice, stupid. He said bikini bottom type beat. Yeah, man. Some shits, bro. I get me a nice little visualizer, put SpongeBob in uh, Z Game Editor. It's over, bro. No, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into that damn Discord, bro, and 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 find out who said that. Hold on. Sound toys. Hold on. Who was telling me to wait? One of y'all niggas, bro.
It's somewhere in here. It's somewhere in this goddamn co in these threads. I don't think I put it together. Where's MG the Future talking about sound toys? Because I know it was Dirt One who told me to wait, bro. He was player hating on my come up. I know it. I know it. I feel it in my soul. Somebody in the VSC plugins place was saying, you don't need sound toys. That's CMP. Sound toys is always a good get. Share that sound toys 5 login. Let's see if it's in here somewhere. Money mics. Is MG the future in this conversation? Nah, Crystalizer, that's, that's Jared. Crystalizer is $30. So it's after this. As soon as it went on sale, I was like, yo, I'm about to cop that. And someone was like, no, no, no. You should get, use Nexus 3 or some shit. One of y'all niggas told me not to buy it. I will never forgive you. Never forgive you. Never forgive you. All right, someone tagged me here. Don't worry about it. It don't, it don't even matter. I remember it. It's going to go on sale again, and I'm going to get it. It's going to go on sale again, and I'm going to get it. So it don't matter. I'm going to get Sound Toys, what is it, 6? Hopefully, they drop a 7. We lit. We lit at that point. Dirt, what's up? I'm about to get busted. <laughs> Money Madness says NPC got to be hooked up with a MIDI interface to get the doll slave follow the NPC. I think so. DJ Tyson says, can we get a sound designer section in Discord? Y'all don't even use the cooking section. Y'all always be wanting more rooms, but y'all don't use the, the old rooms. When was the last time y'all actually put out that uh, Spice Selection mixtape that y'all wanted to do a room for? What happened to all those, uh, those collabs that Akia and them were uh, managing and, and, and spearheading? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Nah. But real life, though. Real life, though. Real life, though. All right. Let's get some trap drums off the NPC. Let's see if it's going to behave. I doubt it. Do y'all guys get those sound irregardless? What? Oh. No, y'all don't get that sound here regardless. Okay, cool. Fuck out of here. So this is my monitoring station. Kanye Tita. I bet you someone's going to want to change the kick or change the snare. What kind of bass are you using? An FL Studio 3 OSC. Um, in Ableton Live, my Moog. Depending, like it's really 3 OSC or Moog, or a Repro 1. I just use sub bass. This shit right there, bro. Let's talk about it. That shit right there? That's four bars though. You talk about the hip hop one. I don't want to do a hip hop one. I want to do a trap one. I want to see if I can capture. We gotta turn that bass off. What? What? It's automating the mute button. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Turn automation off. Why are you doing that? I'm tired of this thing playing with me, bro. Yo, it keeps turning it on. Why are you, why are you automatically automating? The fuck's wrong with you, bro? Nah, like nigga, like for real, real life, fuck out of here. I 
I'm just gonna turn the sliders down. Fuck that. Yeah, this dumbass automation button is on. I don't know what the fuck that is. No, stop playing with me, for real, for real. So now, so now I have a new problem. I have a problem where the NPC software is going, mm -mm, you're not gonna be able to do that. Every time I turn it down, it replaces itself. Let me see if I can figure that out though. Trick automation. Hmm. I never recorded automation though. Definitely not track automation, like uh, mutes. It just, it just did it its fucking self. Yeah, every time I hit play, it jumps up. I know a cool way to fix that, though. Delete the fucking sound. Don't play with me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I ain't got time for that bullshit. Cool. So it's 140 on the MP, I think. I think it's 140. No, it's 70. So I'm going to try to be brave and use 140 because it's the same thing. Um, that might be a dumb idea, depending on what's going on here. I think my delay setting for my last project was set in milliseconds to 37, where it worked okay, um, which is 1632 samples, somehow or another, and incorporates with these samples here. Um, FL doesn't use fixed block sizes for some reason, but if I'm not using crazy VSCs, I can get this as low as uh, 128 or 16 even. Let's try 16. Let's see what happens. Real quick, hold on. Let me try the metronome trick real quick. It doesn't like that. 128, just an even number, please. I have to use 70. You see how I was sewing my NPC down? It's damn near the same. Yeah, but this particular project is doing this funny shit where it keeps undoing my mute. I gotta use another one and I don't wanna use a different beat. I wanted that beat. It always works that way though. It just wants me to do hip hop, don't it? Let's do it. Let's do a Jeezy type beat real quick. That one's 78 beats per minute. And let's see what happens when I play in for the oops. I think it's on time.
All right, so it's four bars. What I have to do and record is make sure this is four bars. Um, I'm going to do it on song mode. I'll make sure the song mode looping point is the same amount as the length of this project. It is. And that's so that Edison records it properly. What's good, Snow Barnes? Reset automation is what it's called, Roderick. I don't know where that button is. I don't use it. It'll take me out of my zone to look that up right now, but I'm gonna look it up when I'm done with the video. This beats flyer anyway for what I'm trying to do. Now my Zulu settings are all the way like lo-fi. So I have to change this up a little bit. To a higher fidelity. It's still low bar. Serious dweet, peace. This is one of these damn settings. But anyway, no, no, no one got that motherfucking polo snare anyway. That's my polo snare. Yo, that shit fly. And it stops when you hit the space bar, which is really what I was tripping on. So we got to do this on play. Hit the record. I'm going to solo the uh, kick as long as it doesn't unsolo itself because that's some new shit that once you get one thing to work, something else breaks. But um, we're going to solo that kick. Um, we're going to pray that it, uh, because it's so long, pause, we got to go through eight bars to get the second take. So let's see what happens. So that's to catch up to itself. So we're going to forgo this whole first song jump and see what happens on the second one. Cool. It looks like it's close to the line. I'm not going to go longer than this. I'm just going to use the second take for each sound. If you remember in the other example, it, it does that funny shit where after it gets past like three uh, instances, it'll start a, uh, it'll start to like the downbeat will start getting closer and closer. It'll start drifting basically. So fingers crossed, um, it doesn't do that in this project. I'm just going to mute that for now. That's the kick. Um, of course, you want to keep everything organized. So start renaming everything so that later on when you assign it to your mixer, you get the names or you inherit the names. All right, so that's track one. I have two snares, but I'm going to layer them together. I don't think I'm going to adjust their individual levels relative of each other. So I don't have to worry about that. We're going to do a new joint, hit record on play, hit play in Fruity Loops. Hey. money so this second one should align with the kick i didn't ask you to try it or nothing like what the fuck all right that's the snare it looks like it's right i don't know man i'm freestyling this i don't know I'm going to go through all the sounds and be mad if that ain't right. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, those two are right. Um, on my two-bar examples, I actually let it play longer. I don't know why I'm just stopping at the second one. But uh, I trust the process, even if it's wrong. Let's keep going. What are the other sounds? Whoa. We got some some hit hitters. These are the ones that typically mess up too.
Something is wrong. I never checked that before. My pan is wrong. My left and right is swapped. There we go. Cool. No more of that. We'll hit him with the new. Hit him with the record. Hit him with the play. We got to get past the first two bars. So on the next take, we'll keep that one. Tracking the NPC and FL, huh? Yeah, man. I can also trigger the uh, MPC with the FL. Like, I can make a drum pattern FL, triggering the sounds, and just record it perfectly. You see the bullshit I'm talking about? Y'all see it, y'all see it, right? All right. Um. Mm -hmm. So at least this way I have more control over the overall sound, reverb sends, all that cool shit. And, and more importantly, track mutes and change ups and half time and all that cool shit. All right, the only thing left, I think, are the percussion sounds. Yeah, buddy. That's fire, too. That whole track, that whole piece is fire. All right. New record. And we out of here, man. Is silent too old? No. I can use it on this. I caught the tail of that last sound. Hopefully that doesn't fuck it up. I really don't need the uh the the open crash hat thing of I'm, I'm just gonna use these four layers for the sake of this demonstration, but like you said, if you're tracking out beats and you're selling beats or whatever and you got an MPC or whatever, just keep going till every track is done. And that's pretty much it for the four layers that I'm using. Then what I'm going to do is tell the NPC to stop feeding into the FL mixer. So we ain't got to worry about that. And we're going to have our fingers crossed and pray it loops. It does. It fucking loops. You got the NPC swing on it, because I always use NPC swing on my trap beats. And I'm out here, bro. Now I could just fucking mute shit. And every last single layer has the Zulu on it. So if you're a hardware person, 
when you get preamps and stuff, um, it sounds one way when the stereo mix of an NPC or SP404 go through everything. But remember, when you send every stem through it, you're coloring each stem. And then when you stack all four stems or five stems or 16 stems together, you get a different sound. Everything becomes way more profound. So now when I'm in FL Studio, which notoriously gives you little drums, um, the NPC gave me big drums, pause. And because it's a waveform, I ain't got to worry about the velocity and pan law and default envelopes or none of that shit. It's just drum straight out the MP. It fixes the FL curse. And we're fucking out of here. And the drums are fucking bow, 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 bow. You, you know what I'm talking about. And then we're just route them bitches to your mixer. Are you wrong for thinking that trap is influenced by techno bass? I don't know what techno bass is. Why is my man David Treasure worrying about Silent? Well, what are you going through right now, bro? My man is asking the hard questions on Silent. For no reason. I don't need Scalar. I could just play. I could just play Silent. Because, cause like, when I think of Trap, I don't think of chord progressions. We don't need, like, I want to show him Silent, but you're not, we're not doing four chords, are we? We can just do a melody with Silent. He wants to know if this is too old. Ah, you always do this to me. No, bitch. Stop clocking me, too, nigga. Let me rock. All right. <laughs> All right, got to pick a skin that you like. Pause. Get you some banks, OVO banks, ESW banks, Echo Soundworks. Elysian. Oh, it's at 78. So the ARP is too slow. Let's see what happens. Let me turn my headphones on. Low-key tired of C minor. Arpeggio built into Scalar would be good for that. So we do input from port one. We're gonna use that sound, get, do a God's plan type of thing. We're gonna do output of this one to port one. 
so it could feed um so scalar feed silent and then all we got to do is uh mute this piano that this comes with what do they say as el piano at where's your piano at did it turn it off by itself I was about to say. That's better for someone like me. playing two things at once I feel like it's hitting my key and my key at the same time nigga like stay there but yeah it's feeding got down nah nigga don't do that how do you stop it I never had to stop it from doing that before I never had to uh, tell it not to send those notes Ah, you bitch, bro. Um, silent is only being fed from input port. I think it's because they're up here, right? I think the only reason why it's doing it is because I'm triggering this. Is feeding both still, nigga? Why are you feeding both? Is is feeding it twice? Why is it doing that? Like it. I've never had a problem with Scalar feeding uh, a VST on the extra notes. Is that some new shit that it fucked up on? So I took MIDI out off or to zero or whatever. It's triggering it. It's still triggering silent. How's how am I unalienably triggering silent? Yeah, that's a dummy mission. Um, to, to route it that way. I don't know why. I've never had that problem before. Where it was receiving both. So we got to use an ugly piano for now. Lord have mercy. I don't know how that sounds on a trap beat. Hi, Tristan. Kalas, when is, when is MG going to do some reggaeton? Why would I do reggaeton? What are we talking about, Kalas? Seriously? We also got this new little trick here where my song mode recordings are going into the playlist. 
Didn't ask them to do that. Don't even know how to do that if I wanted to do that. But yeah, technology, bro. So that's keys. I want to MIDI capture that. I don't want Zaytoven sound. I don't like Zaytoven sound. Okay, I thought I thought that's what it would do. All right, and now I want the arpeggio. Arpeggio, arpeggio, yeah, yeah. Come. There we go. Cool. Give me playback. Cool. We got that. Tell tell you, Mr. Capture. Let's move there. And let's pray. It recorded something. It didn't. What the fuck did you drag, bro? Uh, name your chord set, nigga. Fuck out of here. One more game. One, one more game. One more game. MIDI capture. Bitch, it better have data there, bro. Don't play with me, man. I'm not play withable. <laughs> you said S1? No, S S1 definitely would. So the, the real issue is I'm using EDM sounds. Let's get past that. Let's get past the EDM presets. That's what the fuck's wrong. sounds way better. So I need a key from part two.
I need a higher piano. I need a real piano. But I'm out of here though. I'm out of here though. MG made another one. I, fe I felt it in my soul. It just just like that. It came through. It came through through the other dimension. Uh, let's do it. Let's let's fucking go. I feel like these are the trigger notes. Are those still the motherfucking trigger notes? What is oh, th oh that is a that's goddamn I was about to say bro. My dumbass. Okay, hold on, hold on. We need to clean this up. I'm I'm following the goddamn scalar notes, stupid. Um dun, it changes here. But it doesn't change key there. Fuck. Uh, and this is in the key of E what, nigga? E minor, meh. This is in the key of an Ionian song. Uh, C harmonic minor. Uh, yeah, yeah. C harmonic minor. It's not regular minor, it's harmonic minor, so it's gonna, it's not fun. It's, it's not fun at all. Harmonic minor. Is it white, white, white? Light skin note, light skin note? Yeah. Cool, now I can do it. Oh, uh, 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 fuck. How do I get the hair from the bottom? From the top, right? Yeah, from here. Let's not and pretend I did. to the fourth yeah it sounds flat or just don't do that or just don't use a fucking harmonic scale if you're trying to do western stuff anyway let's add a real piano to it i know i got the uh bbc pause that's what she said uh the symphonic orchestra but does it come with symphonic keys? Nope. But it does come with a symphonic Celeste. Let's do it like that, goddamn. Let's take those notes, copy it to those notes, and let's take those notes and raise them up. Let's just get the 
rhythm. From the top, bro. You know the vibes. That is the one, my friend. This can be very problematic. Oh my god. Oh my god, my friend. This can be very problematic if I. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is that problematic OG hog. I tell you. place young man something like that or chanting you feel me and then we could change it up at the end so it's not super duper stupid repetitive by adding this guy and taking this guy down Peace out, Alive Massey. Peace to all, bro. I just want to use the BBC sounds, that's all. DJ Tyson, what's good, bro?
trumpet, that's that's not an option, sir. This has trumpets times three, horns, and a tuba. And all those are bad ideas. He said, I'm sorry, don't be sorry. I know what you're saying, I just don't have that sound. And these are too low, right? Six producers, one placement. What's good with you, King Prodigy?
trying to change that 808 too. They say they don't side chain 808s because they're noobs. Over here in my house, we side chain 808s. Easy money. In fact, it's the easiest of the money. So what do we call these shits? Tuba, Tuba Gooding Jr. Uh, Celeste. He's head. Bass, how low can you go? Bass, how low can you go? Doom, 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 doom. Bass, how low can you go? Boom, 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 boom. Mm, bass. Mm, bass. How low can you go? Not in Dunder's house. Dun 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 dun
Have I done a no test on the Zulu? No. I just go with the vibes. The warm. But I don't have a Zulu by itself. I have like three things in the shape. Hey, Will Oates. But yeah, I just wanted to use Silent for George Desire. I wasn't going to use Silent, but he was gun ho on buying it on eBay for $5. So hopefully that helps you in your purchase, sir. <laughs> uh, is Silent OBO, bro? We'll call, it, we'll call it something like that, right? What kind of snares are we talking about? Robert is, we're not talking about snares. I should EQ this. Nothing a little ozone can't fix. Alright, so it already fixed itself. Negative 15 target. There we go. Do we have a reference track? Do we have old Drake tracks downloaded somewhere? I used to. Let's do carpet burn. This is the great Gatsby. snap crack on pop at 128 let's go to goddamn 512 come on free loops give me the give me the uh, lock in how do you lock that in like isn't it like shift lord of mercy lord of mercy ozone don't care about your legacy at all fire though Ibrahim. That's it, man. MG made another one. Voila, magic. X appeal. What's good with you, Chief? Yeah, those NPC drums are serious, especially on hi hats and snares, bro. You ain't got an EQ, you ain't got to bring out the SSL or nothing. You just hit record and we're out. Finally.
you guys understand if you spent two years trying to figure out how to goddamn do it. And plus, I got my uh, my DI box is coming tomorrow. I bought a radial with a Jetson transformer, so I want to ch transform my uh, MPC output into a, a microphone output, and then take that microphone Jensen output and throw it through my preamp and use the four microphone colors on my preamp that I'm not using right now because I'm using line in line in doesn't affect that circuit but when I convert it with this radial pedal it'll let me use it as a microphone or a instrument level or whatever the hell it's called and you get even more colors and then I can do Zulu Zulu last or put Zulu on its own track and then run it through that and then um, I'll probably have my drummer stuff in a couple of weeks and run it through that, and then fucking all I needed to work first was to get stuff off the MPC into my computer. Now I can do all the other shit, because Pipeline works for mixing. Um, Logic works for mixing. It's just the beat-making part. Um, tracking is trash. Everything else you can just do in live in real time, so you don't have to worry about alignment. But this part, now that this part is settled... <laughs> you feel me, though? That was an expensive box, too. I feel like I should get, like, a two-star elite rating from um, the brother uh, Lee, Lee the Hitman. Lee the Hitman tried to con me into buying one of those boxes. I was going to buy the uh, the Neve one, but even the non-Neve one was just as expensive. They're the same price. Why, why are dual, why are, why are dual preamp uh, passive... Preamp, what is this shit called, guys? Uh, dual, passive. Hold on, I got this. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. I got this. I got this. It's a, called a dual, passive, stereo. Direct input boxed. DI box. There we go. <laughs> Dual DI box passive. Oh, there is a cheaper one. I didn't get that one. Why did I get the expensive one again? Is it because it ain't tricking if you got it? Maybe I got the wrong one. Because I see two here. What's the difference? One's passive, one active? Oh, I know what I got. I know why I got the one I got. Because of my um, SP404. It's RCA inline. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, line input. I hope. Fingers crossed. And then you got RCA input in the front that are parallel. So I can plug in my MPC and my, uh, I can plug in the MPC and the SP404 at the same time. I think. I'm low. You said, what does it do again? I don't know, man. When you start buying accessories for your current equipment, that's when you start getting into the grown man zone. That's when you start getting into the man cave. <laughs> nah, it, it converts your signal. That's all it does. It, it, it doesn't, it, well, it doesn't necessarily do anything but allow you to connect one piece of equipment to another. So basically, it's like a router. Uh, it's not even that. I can't, I can't explain it. I don't fucking know. I do know. In theory, I know. But I don't know the electricity terms. I don't know about impedance and what does that mean and what's a good impedance. I don't. I don't know impedance or impedance or impedance. I don't. I can't even say the fucking words. But um, you know the whole horse shit. But anyway, so you take your cool ass NPC, right? You're like, oh boom, I got the sixteen pads, mom. You know what I'm saying? You got the little knobs on the side, whatever, whatever. Boom. And let's say you want this to connect. Um, most of you kids, you guys just got a laptop. So to connect that to your laptop, what? You get your nice little focus right. Little two two by two type joint. 
where you get other people to share your mouse and your sound card when you live in a house full of people who supposedly make millions of dollars on records. But we're going to talk about that a different day. So normally, if you use from MPC to your Focusrite 2.2 to your laptop, you lit. But my MPC doesn't do that. My MPC bypasses that. And it goes to this really expensive preamp, right? When it does that, it has to go in there as line or instrument in. Yeah, it's, it's actually not, it's a line in. I also have high Z on the front that I don't use for like guitars. So my preamp allows you to plug in three different ways. Uh, line, instrument, and mic. Um, the only way to get in a, <clears throat> into a 212 is a line, right? This is what everyone's used to. The problem is, in general, depending on what the, the device is, because we got the SP404s too, right? They're a little bit more different, differenter. You know what I'm saying? The SP404s are differenter. Because they got that ugly ass uh, RCA shit going on that causes a lot of noise. So as you've seen earlier in my earlier streams, what I do is I would connect my MPC out via line, convert it from line to RCA to go through. Um, I'd have it go through my SP, right? And then out of my SP, um, RCA to line cable converter, just a cable, just a wire, and it will be RCA to line. And what happens is when you do that dumb shit, it creates all this noise. It raises the noise floor, the signal to floor noise threshold ratio impedance is all fucked up. So what you end up doing is spending $600 from anywhere from $300 to $600 fixing that with a motherfucking DI box that you really don't need until you really want to fix that fucking problem. And all it does is convert any of these lines into microphone out, basically. It converts both of these outputs to mic out. So I would be using my little DI box to plug either one of these jokers. And because it's a dual joint with a, cause I could do both at once. I can merge my MPC and my, uh, I can merge my MPC, and my SP404 on the same output. Although that's stupid because I run it. I run my effects through my SP404. So I won't do that, but I can, I can run them parallel to each other through one DI box and share one input in the computer. If I choose to go that way. But the whole purpose of doing that, not only to change this signal level, but once I change that signal that these give up and I turn into this microphone out, now I can plug it into my preamp again as microphone in. And only in microphone in do you normally get the transformers, pause, that your gear comes with. Um, I don't know why they don't put transformers online or whatever the case may be, but they don't. They just fucking don't. Just like this one. This comes with a transformer too. Um, and the act of transforming the electricity or the act of rerouting the signal flow, whatever the fuck, gives you color or texture or all these dumb things we pretend we hear. And that creates what? Warmth. Um, but more importantly, it's that 3D sound that you can't get inside your computer. Is what, really what we're chasing, right? So you buy a DI box, you transform the signal into a mic signal, plug that mic signal into the front of your focus right through the mic input, and then you can use the gain on your claret, or in my case, I'm going in and using the gain on a preamp, which is gonna boost it up even higher and more solid and crazier sound, and then line out into the line in on the back of my claret. It's, it's just a motherfucking MP3 to wave converter, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Transformers are part of the preamp wiring though, right? Yeah, but mine in the front, I don't know if you can see it. I'll see if I can get you to see it. Yeah, you can see it. I'll do it. All right. So no, they're part of it, but it doesn't work that way. So you see this right here? Right here, Um, I can select between uh, Instrument, line, and microphone, right? 
you can see there's three three stages of the red, right? But you'll notice on the microphone stage, there's four more stages that are only accessible on the microphone, and that's the transformer up here. So that transformer has four different settings or four different colors. Because I'm going into line from NPC zoo or NPC through here through line, I can only use line. And as you see, that disables that circuit. Even if I use these little inputs, which you can barely see, where you, it's called high Z or instrument input, that's where you plug in your guitars or bass guitars. Even when I switch it to that, this is still inaccessible. So this particular circuit's only accessible through microphone in. So tomorrow I'll have the DI box that converts this to microphone and then boom, the signal boost will work differently. I'll have to turn all this shit down and then that signal goes back into the claret. That's all. It's just converting it. You only worry about that when you start using like uh, like hardware compressors and EQs and shit because you'll notice on the back of most of the high end equipment, they only deal with those type of inputs. So this those DI boxes just make sure that your, your keyboards and your NPCs and motifs are ready for that world. In fact, if you read the reviews on DI boxes, people will say, oh, wow, that's how the Korg Kronos is supposed to sound. So if you have a, a, a keyboard keyboard, like a workstation, even I would say the Moog, but I don't think so. But if you have like a workstation keyboard, an old Triton, an old Montage, an old anything, get a DI box for it. Because obviously it doesn't sound right. It's too thin. And that's the big and that's the big thing, right? Like when people talk about why would you use an old school motif rack? It sounds just the same as hypersonic, and it's because they were recording it wrong. It was the wrong signal. If you put it in its proper electrical manifestation, it doesn't sound like a VSC. So let's rewind all that. If the act of putting a motif keyboard or MPC through a DI box changes the inherent weight of sound, what happens if you have a DI box just in the signal flow of looping audio from your computer through it? Ah, now you see where we're going? So how we use pipeline and we use a uh, motherfucking, how I use uh, the MPC to pass sounds through? Well, now it's gonna pass through any signal. Any VST is gonna pass through the MPC, which I can use the MPC and SP1200 emulation. It's gonna pass through that DI box with its Jensen, I think they call it, transformer is going to add the weight to that signal that I just sent from my computer. And then that signal is going to go into my preamp, which has three more weights to choose from. And then that can go through Zulu or not. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep Zulu there or not. I think I'm going to put Zulu on its own track, but I'm not sure yet. Um, so I can hear the preamp without Zulu. There's no way to bypass Zulu, so it's hard to uh, gauge what's affected by it. So I might have to put it on its own channels. But yeah, you could just, you could basically, you're just going to set up a loop, a crazy ass loop for all your stuff. Another thing that people use DI boxes for, for like guitar pedals, because your guitar pedals have different impotences and line in, instrument in. Right now I'm using RCA in. I'm using RCA to line from my SP to my guitar pedals and it makes my guitar pedals sound very dirty. And it's fine that they sound dirty because I make lo-fi with them. But if I don't want them to sound so fucking dirty, I would put a, a DI box before or after them. Nine times out of ten after. Change the signal, etc. Reamp it, etc., etc. Put the move through the DI too. It's going to be worth it. How? I have to buy another one. I want to buy another DI box. Are you fucking serious, dirt one? I'm a, how many DI boxes do I fucking need? The the good news with the Moog one though is um. I don't need this one again because it's, it's mono. Active, passive, uh, yeah. $200 to make the Moog sound better? Yo, y'all are smoking mids out here. See? See, it's line in to microphone out. That's all it's doing. It's just converting it for you. And inside of it, they have those, uh, those transformers. Merge what, bro? What is the through for? Oh, you could. What does this convert stereo to mono? Is that why they have a through? That's why there's a merge button, so you create a mono signal. Why would you do that? What, what situation would we create a mono signal out of stereo for fun? 
I don't know. It ain't me, though. Are you going to get a, a simple patch bay just for simplicity and convenience, or are you going full mad scientist out the box? You said, I'm looking at the high-end ones. Bro, I have $5,000 signal flow. Of course, I want the high-end one for the first one. But I know what you're saying. They're, they make cheaper ones. They make DIY ones. They're like $20. I can just get a $20 one. But I want to put a $21 on the Moog. Have you heard of Moog? Have you heard this shit, bro? Like, are you serious? No, I'm getting a, a $500 one for this. That's the Moog. And apparently, you can get it to sound better than that. Fucking out of here, bro. <laughs> Them shit sound crazy, bro. I just don't know what... Like, none of the, the dumbass beats that I, that I make need all of that. Also, I need a long-ass USB cable. Um, because that sounded really cool live and all, but when you put it on the grid, it's not on, it's not on beat. So the Moog transfers MIDI over USB... It's just, as you can see, it's way over here, and the, the cables don't reach my, uh, my little adapter that I got. So I just need a really long USB cable, which we used to have when we had printers and shit. But I don't have one anymore. I can change it out for this keyboard, because this one's really long, but I need another one like this. Or, words connect, use a short one for the cord and put the long one into the Moog, since this USB port's way on the other fucking other side. Instead of the side next to the keyboard where it should be. But whatever, you know. I don't build them. If you mad DI boxes, why don't you just get the rack with a bunch more connections? One rack? Um, Ben Cliffs. I didn't know there was going to be a situation where I needed more than one DI box. First of all, let's get that out the way. This is my first DI box. Um, and Dirt One is the one nudging me to go elite to buy more. I, wasn't, I, I was never buying a DI box. Until I realized that I needed it to really use my preamp. When you think about how much my preamp costs, you're like, oh yeah, you should use it. I'm still not really using my preamp. My preamp is just a volume control. Until I get the color control. And I don't, I'm not using the preamp for the color control yet. There's a motherfucker calling himself Freak Show. We need to battle. I'm the only legit side show Shriek in this tent. Hey, Arcane Audio. Beats it really would. Turn that shit up. King JD, what's good, bro? MG Dean, MJ is so wrong. Mm -mm -mm. MG Trotman in the house, hate to see it. Moog, the future. Mm -mm -mm. The through is for guitars. You feed the amp too. I don't know how that works. USB adapter, my guy. Mm -mm. No, I just need a long USB cable. I don't need MIDI to USB. Um, Moog is MIDI over USB. As both. As MIDI in, out, through, and MIDI over USB. Matter of fact, you do the software updates on the Moog through the USB. I had to update the firmware, because remember I told you my Moog used to be out of key? It was detuned by 40 cents, even despite the master tuning on the back. 
So they had to do a firmware update and I did that over USB. This bitch right here. Shit's, shit's pretty wild, bro. It gets really freaky in this motherfucker. Once you get a Moog, bro, you understand it. People tell you, now nah, you can do all that on a VST. They're lying to you. I promise you. No cap. Niggas is lying to you. You cannot. It is not the same. You literally, you literally feel the instrument. You feel that shit in your hands. In your hands. In your goddamn hands. It's, it moves you. It's like it becomes you. If I knew how to play play, bro, fuck out of here. Man, oh man, I can't wait till I have enough money, bro. I'm buying the, I'm buying all the modes. I'm buying the big one, you know, the stereo mode where you can play chords. If I can play chord, bro, if they, if God, if God, if the gods of electricity, bro, I don't know why Moog doesn't do it because this sounds stupid to me that you can't make a stereo mode like for real without having to price gauge it. Like if you just took this same shit, like the Moog grandmother and the Moog matriarch, and then you took those three oscillators. And whatever the fuck you have to do to play chords with it. You know what I'm talking about? Because, like, they got the little fucking blowfields or fucking eight voices. I don't get it. Like, Moog is on some bullshit. But if they weren't on some bullshit and we could play chords with these bitches, it'd be a rap. It'd be a motherfucking Reynolds, bro. Peace down, Lucci. Mm-mm. I've, I've used Moog one shots and beats before. It's cool. It's cute. That's a very cute approach, but it's not the same. You could feel this shit, bro. I could feel the, the fucking. like that once it's in your computer it just doesn't come across that way it's weird like i can feel it in my hand like i can feel it. the electricity is connected to the keyboard bro like like i don't know it's maybe because your ears are synced up i don't know what the phenomenon is called but i don't get that from the akai mini no i'm not copying the moog one it's, it's a waste of money for me they need to make a one thousand dollar joint that's uh five voices my, most of my chords are nine keys, though, but I'll, I'll, I'll live with five.
this shit's different. I can't even, I can't even explain it to you. I can't even explain it. It's like you, you, you're going to have to experience it. Like if you're a producer or sound designer, you have to experience a Moog. Like uh, the rest of them are cute, I guess. But the Moog is different. And I'm biased because they make them in North Carolina. I'm in North Carolina. So maybe the frequencies hit me different in North Carolina. But them shits, bro. Yeah, it's a, it's a live. That's the difference. Yeah. I was looking at the Behringer Monopoly. That should be cool. Um, because of the price point. Yeah. That's the Korg inspired one, right? The Model D is the only synth you want. Hey, from, from Behringer. Yeah, no AVs sound like that. I didn't say my bad. I meant the same. OFC like, of course, like. It ain't just ain't the same. Yeah, yeah, the, the other alternatives aren't bad. It's just they're not Moog, bro. Get you one. You'll see. They make little ones. They make the little tabletop joints, too. They just don't have as many modulation options. And, and, that, and that one was cool about that one. If I, use, if I learn how to use the patch bay, which I'm going to learn how to do, I get it in theory now. But um, I can create a third oscillator because they're two osc. But you create a third one with the noise osc if you patch it. And what will happen is you'll get that tearing sound that you... Like the man said earlier, it sounds like Travis Scott or Mike Dean. Um, you need a third oscillator to do that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to create the, the fake Travis Scott rip, riffs. Um, I saw someone do on YouTube do a video for the third osc. And I'm pretty sure I can make the Travis Scott sound by ear. The one on my iPad is fire. Hey, I want the move grandmother for the modulation. Hey, let's talk about it. Moog Siren is great. Yeah. Even my virus sounds better through preamps. Yes. You would put your virus and your motif through a DI box. But yo, y'all got any other questions? We're two hours and 30 minutes in. We actually made beats today. Shout out to Shane because she didn't think I could do it twice in a row. I did. <laughs> I learned how to track out my beats into the FL studio. That's big news. Now I can actually make beats with my NPC. Let's talk about it. Is the Moog siren discontinued? So what? Buy it still. You can still buy it. You ain't got to buy these shits new. Why y'all bugging? Y'all know the old ones like the Slim Fatty and stuff for like $200. Y'all bugging, bro. Moog Slim. Just look up Moog Slim. Look at them. The old joints. With three oscillators, I think. Oh, he got a, a decent condition for 700. Oh, he can eat a decent condition ass, bro. I'm buying it for 450. Let's talk about it. I'm buying this shit from F major. You feel me? No, that's two us. Yeah, it got some ear damage. That's about it. Like, fuck out of here. Mine and it's USB over MIDI. Let's make sure he ain't break the fucking buttons. I can't see it. It doesn't let you zoom in. Yeah, it's got the filter, modulators. Yeah, like these. Like the ones that we used to want when the Akai NPC 1000 came out. This came out around the same time. He said he got at Guitar Center in 2013. I doubt it. But maybe he did. You got the Sub Fatty too, the keyboard joint, 800. You got this one. Wait a minute. They just motherfucker. I just I just searched for that. Oh, okay. They just changed the image on me. I was about to say, like, don't play with me, bro. You got the little fatty with the keyboard bed, 800. Still looking at the Iridium MG the future for the for the wavetable stuff? Yeah. I am. I just I'm just not looking at the price right now. They want way too much money for a Waldorf. You know why I wouldn't why I didn't push pull the trigger on that Waldorf Iridium? Because I just buy the microwave. You know what I'm saying? The original. Matter of fact, I buy a Blofeld. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why they want that much money for it. Come on, dog. You know what I'm talking about. These jokers right here. It's $400 for a Blofeld. They want $2,400 for Iridium. They bugging, bro. The Kira is still $2,400. Which in its virtual analog, virtual analog means your computer can make the sound, which I don't get why it's so high end. These little black ones are virtual analog. They're the same technology. I think the difference is the amount of voices and effects it has. But we're plugging these into computers, so 
when they make effects the price point times two thousand dollars is stupid to me i don't need it for that but yeah like the real waldorf you might as well just buy this bitch the real one you feel me for the same price like the real ones the the ones that we know from the neptunes and shit at that price that is that would be smart Quantum. They got a, a analog one too, uh, which is like a Moog. The Waldorf Pulse too. It's four fifty. I haven't seen anyone get this, and I don't know why. It's a three or two os analog, and this one's virtual analog. I think because everyone goes to Dave Smith, right? Everyone buys these guys. They're okay. They're okay. Um, the Profit Eater is really cheap now, too. Remember I was telling you about playing it with chords? The only way to do that right now is these guys. The original, the OG. Where's the OG at? Rev 1. Rev 2, nope. They don't even sell Rev 1s? The fuck are they talking about, bro? There's no Rev 1s on here. That's interesting. The Rev 1 used to be $1,000 new. So it should be like $500 used. What's the difference? It's not telling me the difference. The fuck is the difference, bro? Keyboards? Oh, okay. Bugging. Most of these are new. Yeah, I'd offer them $999 and tell them to cut the shit. Because you just buy a new one at that price. The new one is literally $12.99. And they want to sell a used one for $40 left? Like, cut the shit, bro. Really, cut the shit. This is real stupid. This is really dumb pricing. Just buy it new. Whatever. But yeah, that's your only other choice. I like the mini mode. Played it a long time ago. I think Gear, Gear Sluts may come, make a comeback. Yeah, man. If I can't sample it into it, I don't want it. DJ Tyson. The new Dreadbox looks fly, too. This little bass synth, right? I saw that, too. That, that piqued my interest because I was going to buy a Dreadbox guitar pedal. The new Dreadbox is a bass synth. But, uh, it's not on here yet. It switched it to bread box. Really, nigga? They have that guy. Do you have a page for dread box? Oh, yeah. They have a paraphonic synth. Ain't that a bitch? Did not know that. Paraphonic just means you can play more than one voice at once. I think it's, what, two voices? So you can do, like, a techno. This one's $200. Yeah, two OSC. $200. Easy money. And they got the patch base. What are we talking about? Yeah. Three shapes. Glide on each shape. Different steps. Micro tuning. Detuning. Mix between the two. 70-30 or 50-50. A built-in echo. And an LFO. I guess it um, could be routed to the mod wheel. Nice. Yeah, man. Just get you a real one one day. Whatever it is. But Dreadbox has a new one coming out. I think it's three oscillators. This guy. Typhon. Which is funny because when we was looking into the Moors, Typhonian is the beginning of a lot of the religions. And they named this joker Typhon. 
has more shapes. Oh no, it's not multi os It's not like the others. It's creating a different sound altogether. Ooh, I might buy it. But it's one voice, bro. It's one fucking voice. It's, it's going to piss me off. Where's your DII box? I know you got a DII box there. Presets? Whoa, slow down. Because you know the Moog doesn't store, store presets. And that pisses me off. But uh, this one has a DSP chip on it. Is that why they can do that? Is it true analog? It's too uh, vintage voltage controlled. Voltage control. It has DSP effects on it. Yeah, I might need to buy it, bro. I just hate that I can't play chords on it. That's all. I might need to get it anyway, though. At that price? Shitting me. Yeah. It's either that or the Pulse by Waldorf. There's the only ones that are like that. It's a step sequencer on it. 13 modulators. Whatever that's for. But they're digital modulators. That's trash. You gotta use that little ass screen to route. I wanna hear it before I buy it, because I'll buy it today. Stop playing like Hans Zimmer. I hate that. No reason to do that. Let's cut the shit. There we go. Something for our trap gods, who only do hi-hats. Yes. I get it. I get it. I get what it's doing. I'll just, but I would just get a bigger synth. It's it, like it does all that cool shit, but it's only one voice or one uh one voice at a time. It if it's doing all of that, I want it to be uh chords. Been there, done that. Wrote a book about it. It's like a bootleg version of the Evolver. Sonic Say has a great video walkthrough on Typhon. Yeah, I've seen it. All analog with. 96k effects. Hey, watch the Sonic State that just dropped. They run Typhoon through all the paces. No, I, I know it's good. It's good if you make music that's single voice. I don't. I need chords, bro. I need I need chords. I need to hit them with the six nine chords, bro. I don't make ARP music. I should though. I use a lot of ARPs. <laughs> watch the Sonic State. I have a DX7 and a TX7. Isabella Johansson or Johansson. Wow. Those are probably the most difficult ones to program, right? The FM sense? I don't do them. Yet. 
Although that uh, the new Waldorf is FME. We had a lot of souls here today. I appreciate y'all. Drop a like before you go, please. Awesome. But yeah, let me get out of here. There's nothing else to talk about. I was inspired by my NPC working with FL Studio, so I'm happy. I'm inspired by the Moog. I just don't think we can make track with Moog yet, so I need to get better as a musician to use it. Um, what else did I want to say or talk about? Nothing. I'll do another video when my DI box comes here. Um, I don't think you guys will be able to hear it, but what if you can, right? What if you can hear it? That'd be sick. So that means I have to unplug everything tonight, wipe everything down, and I have to be like a madman and reroute everything. And the brother in the chat earlier was asking me, am I going to get a patch bay? Um, not yet, because I haven't ran out of input yet. The only thing that um, I have to toggle between is this guy. And be honest with you, I think the first test I'm going to have tomorrow, if I go live or if it comes in time for me to go live tomorrow, is that because this is lined out like the NPC, I'm going to line out of this guy and um, put it through the DI box and put it through my preamp. Um, and reconnect the MIDI from my MPC right now to this guy. Hold on. I, I had it working in my head just a minute ago. Hold on. Basically, I'm going to try to make this my MPC first, going through the DI box, because it's going to make the signal stronger. Like, this thing has this weird thing. When you turn the output all the way up, it gets, uh, like, something's loose or something. Like, it needs to be cleaned or soldered. But because I'll be able to ramp it up with the uh, DI box and the preamp, them beats are going to be crazy because the swing on that bitch is crazy. It was like an SP-1200 for real, for real, for real, for real. The Japanese just hacked the SP-1200 and sold it for like $200 back in the day. So um, I'm going to use that and make some struggle Griselda type beats and see how they sound. Uh, that's about it, I think. There's no track outs on that, though, so that's why I said Griselda. But anyway, it's MG Future. You know what I'm about. Till next time. Peace.